another setback for the service industry. 2020 keeps on coming. <laughs> it's been a roller coaster of restrictions for bars and restaurants as the Commonwealth battles COVID-19 case surges from shutdowns to slowdowns. Now another hurdle. The shutdowns are horrible. They're horrible on your mind and just everything, your outlooks. Amy Cumler owns Up Over Bar on Main Street in Covington. She says the anxiety is tough to handle, but she knows the state needs to get a grip on the virus. You know, I'm behind him 100%. We just all want this to go away and we need to abide by the rules. Starting this Friday at 5 p.m., and that means no more customers walking through her doors. Outdoor service not exactly desirable with dipping temperatures and packed streets thanks to the Brent Spence closure. Huge effects, actually. So a lot of our dine-in is outside. So all day long, you're just hearing these trucks honk their horns. It's discouraging people to come in and dine in. Restaurants and bars watching profits dwindle and wondering if help will ever come. Definitely feel like there's going to be should be more assistance because we are the ones who are getting really affected by this. Now today, Governor Bashir did announce available funds for these bars and restaurants. Cumler says she expects to get about $10,000, but does worry about her employees. She says that she has made the tough decision to close down while these restrictions are in place. I just spoke with her moments ago, and she said with the cold weather on the way, it's really just not worth it to stay open at this time. Reporting live in Covington, Molly Lair, WWT News 5.